Okay. This is how I'm actually supposed to. And by actually, it's my way of saying this is what I do. So I'm supposed to start the video this way. Somebody left me a comment. They were very upset at the video. They said, your nails are filthy. I apologize for offending you. Now I could take that a different way. I could say, they're my nails, it's my life, and start throwing things around. I could do that. I'll give you evidence. I looked at them and I said, okay. Well, they do need to be clipped. I've seen filthier in people's spirits. There he goes. <laughs> He would only say what he heard you say. He would only move when he saw you move. The where you go, I go. Where you stay, I stay, right? Where you go, I go. What you say, I say. Where you go, I go. Here am I. So, there was another comment left. And you guys would be surprised how much non-Christians know and love to explain to Christians. It's very interesting. This one said, Traditional Christians have always believed that Mary is the second Eve. That's what they believe. When I'm talking about Mary, I'm talking about Mary Magdalene, beloveds. Because this one said Mary was without sin. No, my mama was definitely not without sin. In fact, if you ask her, and this is not to embarrass her, I was laughing when she told me. She got herself arrested. She saw somebody abusing an animal in the streets. And yeah. <laughs> and she got a speeding ticket once through a school zone. So <clears throat> that should um, help people with a lot of things. Because I looked at it. I'm a consultant. All right. When the church was removed from my leadership, I became a consultant. We had a tiff where um, war was declared against us. So we said, okay, well, you started it. But mainly, if you look at that movie, Left Behind, what that would look like, you have the people that realized they were left behind, and then you have the ones that disappeared from their families and all of that. Well, basically, what occurred was you just lost... Um, the closeness and the connection that you had with your family if you were taken into the air. And then the church, you wouldn't know you were left behind unless I let you realize you were left behind. So the, the church is in a perilous condition right now <clears throat> for the reasons I've already stated in these videos. So is this, this is better? Okay. Um... Oh yeah, so my wife is no longer grumpy. So <laughs> one of my prophets had said, you're gonna get a call and it's gonna be life-changing. And then my wife emailed me. So we're happy about that. And um, it's important that you understand um, how the spiritual realm works and Lilith, I just named her Lilith because people had started talking about this person named Lilith. Lilith is basically um, a tormenting spirit. And the scripture says I have those at my disposal. So <clears throat> in this class, beloveds, 
you can take the constructive criticism as, you know what, my walk with you, Lord, has not been what it could be. Or you can go that route of your nails are filthy. <clears throat> but I invite the um, criticism. And a lot of times I understand how you guys feel. <laughs> because you basically get told something. Then confusion turns to fear. And it's basically, he said something that's different than what I believe. Pitchforks, fires, let's do this. So instead of all of that, <clears throat> prayerfully consider things is my advice. Because I've actually lived this. And after I make a video, I get revelation. I ask, was that perfect? And Spirit's like, that's perfect, Lord, I love it. So that's where I'm at. That's what I do. I've actually... done everything in the gospel and then there's the whole thing that you're not gonna like i cannot sin so there's that um so yeah mary magdalene she she exists and she's pretty amazing she's one that likes my sense of humor and um, she gets me, she gets my style. There's many different ways to communicate, beloved. So I was praying about what to do with this whole. And I had already made my decision. It's gonna take you about three years to, um, if you um, submit, and you're carrying your cross, denying yourself as the Holy Spirit is telling you, the minimum, three years. So <clears throat> I always teach about three years ahead of the um, church. I was teaching that the Holy Spirit is God way before the church started grasping that. So I watch it kind of meander its way back towards Uh, and then it meanders. It's what, you know, it, it stops where it wants. I don't. Worthless Shepherds is what I saw. And uh, I talked about it. And then um, I. Mm, how are we going to do this? I try and make a compelling but um, catch you off guard a lot of times with truth in love. So back to this. All right. So I was there when I was led by the Holy Spirit to these. All right. I was there when rainbows appeared on the wall here. I have it on video. I'm not really interested in spending a whole bunch of time improving who I am because I am, I am, I am. So we're continuing our mountain season. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Billy Graham and Pure Flix is how I spent my night. <clears throat> and this movie, my parables here. Lord, do you really? Yeah, I really do. Like, I'll just sit there in light. I bounce between Nazarene and uh, real Christian is basically what I do. Um, now, the woman had a dream. Beautiful dream. She's in a house. I'm listening to her heart. <clears throat> and she has children and her husband and then it all disappears and she's left alone in the house she wakes up in a hospital bed <clears throat> and she says where is my husband where are my children of course babe. and her parents are there and her parents say 
you don't have a husband, you're not married, you don't have any kids, are you okay? And she starts explaining names and all of these things that she is being told is not real. <clears throat> so this TV is real, right? And then I was asking the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> I'm making this expansive for you guys. And the Holy Spirit says, we are thrilled with her. We are thrilled with you, babe. And it's been like that. So we were kind of feeling it out for a sec. Our way of kind of, we still got you, babe. You will always belong to me. <clears throat> and she goes looking for a job and she's sent and she sees her husband. And she's already madly in love again. This is my husband, it's exactly what her husband looked like. Same name, same everything. She knows everything about him. And she kind of just waits and waits and waits. Fawns over him a bit. You should do a little more fawning, babe. We, we should see more fawning. <laughs> more fawning, babe. And uh, throughout the movie, they get to know each other more and more and more and more. <clears throat> And then <clears throat> he sees some notes that she had written about him. And he's like, how did you know all of these things? Because he had never really sat down and explained all of the things that she knew because they hadn't gotten that close yet. <clears throat> And then he dismisses her because it kind of freaked him out, right? <clears throat> so you got to imagine, like, if I just sat there and started telling you about your entire life, but I can. On Judgment Day, it's definitely probably not something you're going to want to hear. So we're past Judgment Day, and I'm moving into consultant mode. <clears throat> and at the end, he comes back and he says... It just freaked me out that you knew all of those things, but I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. And then her um, close friends started believing her. Her parents started believing her. And I watched Mary Magdalene go through this. So there's a lot I've always wanted to make up to her. And one thing I wanted to do was tell her about herself. Part of her reward. So, um, pushing her out of her comfort zone a lot because there's a lot she doesn't know about me has been part of our strategy because we didn't want her to freak out basically then jesus said to his disciples i tell you the truth it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven again i tell you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of god when the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. So the church kind of forgot that part. But with God, all things are possible. Peter answered him, we have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? Ah, the point, right? Lord, you're the point. No, you're the point. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. 
And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my sake or mother or children or fields for my sake or mother or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Inherit eternal life. Inherit eternal life. What that means, beloved, it's mine to give. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. So the church is last now, and then my prophets, the church of Christ is first. I have explained this. <clears throat> and then you guys should read that. That's uh, Matthew 19, 9. Just take five minutes out of your day and just read the whole page, okay? I love you.